Coach Neil Alexander joining us here on our post game. And Coach, congratulations on the win. Final of 60-51. And y we mentioned it uh, partway through the fourth quarter. Uh, not that it hasn't felt this way in years past, but tonight really felt like a good team win, both offensively and defensively. Well, I thought our defense was good the first half. Uh, I thought we moved the ball very well in about the last four minutes of the half. I thought we had a spell that uh, you know, we played good defense. The defense got us some points. And uh, for us to score 60 points, that's what's going to have to happen. And the kids played hard. Um, uh, I didn't think we played uh, as hard the second half. We come out pretty soft. And plus they inserted the two big kids in there, and it gave us a lot of problems. We allowed them to just set in the paint uh, instead of going down and try to get them out. But, uh, you know, they are uh, they're a good basketball team. Our kids, uh, you know, I thought we executed pretty well. We hit some shots. Uh, Christian had a great game. Um, I mean, everybody that played that was very, very solid. They, they all had good games, and that's what it's going to take for this team. Yeah, Coach, uh, you're talking about Christian or anybody getting to the free throw line. We talked about it on Monday that uh, we just didn't get there, and tonight 14 of 18, and you talk about uh, finding ways to score for this team, and uh, one of the big ways can be from the free throw line because, as you can see by tonight, uh, this is our guys can make free throws. Yeah, you know, and this is one that I really was, was concerned about on whether we could shoot free throws, but, um, you know, they stepped up and they made them. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of games are won and lost from the free throw line, so uh, hopefully we'll uh, come out on the right end when it gets into a free throw shooting contest. Coach, on Wednesday night, uh, there was a little bit of a lull in the second quarter that coincided when uh, Max went to the bench to take a rest. Tonight he went to the bench. Uh, Centennial was able to come back and take a lead. But then while still on the bench, the Railers were able to run off seven in a row. So, so they're starting to learn when Max isn't out there that this team can still do some things. Yeah, he, he stayed out there a little bit longer tonight than I wanted. But, uh, you know, We've got some sophomores that's not going to play in the tournament because the IHSA rules uh, allows them to play so many tournaments. So I'd rather them get the full amount of playing time in a sophomore tournament than playing, uh, you know, four or five minutes here and there. So, uh, uh, you know, we were limited on what we could do. Uh, you know, Edward, uh, you know, I had three backs there setting, the, and it's hard to put three backs in to play our defense and continue to play it the way we were. So uh, really... Uh, you know, Max got a few more minutes than what we needed there uh, to try and save legs for tomorrow. But uh, then again, Coach, coming off the bench, uh, I, I thought uh, Tommy Harris, a, a good game. Matt Hayes looks like he's starting to feel a little more comfortable. He's an excellent defender, a good athlete, and uh, a very good rebounder. Boxes out well, and so, it, you know, you're, it looks like already without the sophomores, uh, the guys are starting to feel a little more comfortable out there. Well, you know, he's very athletic, Matt Hayes, and... Uh, you know, he's got to do what we would need him to do. And, you know, he made plays the first half and, and done some things. So uh, hopefully we can build on that. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he can jump. He's strong. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we just got to keep building and, and keep working. And like we said earlier, we don't want to be at the best top of our game right now. So uh, we'll continue to work to get better. And, Coach, uh, one of those areas maybe that uh, will be discussed was uh, – Centennial, I'm not sure if they missed in the fourth quarter from three-point range, especially 22. It seemed like he kept backing up and backing up, and he hit four of those three-pointers that they made uh, as a total of six in the fourth quarter there for Centennial. Yeah, you know, we, we didn't get out, and then they were just kind of relaxed, and that's what happens. You relax in a game, and, uh, you know, you can do those things. But, uh, you know, we didn't get out and put the pressure on that we needed. Uh, we kind of just said the game was over, so, uh, you know, that, that's probably a, the thing that we'll discuss tomorrow is, is that, is that we quit playing and allowed them to set and shoot threes all night. But, uh, you know, uh, I got my own feelings on that one. <laughs> Coach, uh, 10 a.m., again, Seton Academy, who's uh, and looked to be the best team here, as you know, a lot of people have seen. Uh, what are they going to bring to the table tomorrow morning at 10, and uh, what do we got to do to uh, to stay in front of them? Well, what we got to do is something that I don't know if we can do. <laughs> uh, they're very good. Uh, you can't turn the ball over against them. Uh, and, you know, I, I think Coach Greg made a statement in the locker room that they had 70-some points, and 60 of them were off of second or third 
uh, chances at 90, the end. 93 shot attempts to, tonight. Okay, and, and then <laughs> the other thing that they do is they score off turnovers. Yeah. So you can't turn the ball over, and then you got a rebound. You do those two things, you got a chance. But uh, I mean, they're, they're very well coached. They come at you, and uh, it's going to take a pretty good team to beat them. Right. I don't care what level you're at. Yeah, press breaker will be uh, a key tomorrow. Yeah, and, and of course and you got to be strong. And if we get officials that'll call and get us to the free throw line, you know, hopefully we can. Uh, uh, you know, score from the free throw line, but we've got to be strong with the ball. And of course, then the doubleheader uh, of the games tomorrow night ends uh, with the familiar foe of Morton, who is also a very good team. Oh, I, I thought they looked really what good tonight. They uh, uh, they're very well coached. Uh, they do their thing, and and they're they're strong. And you know, I I think well, in the first two games, I think they shot 65 free throws. So they're going to attack the basket and they're going to penetrate it. And and create a lot of foul situations. So, uh, you know, we, we got to, you know, worry about them after tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right, Coach, well, we'll let you go. Get a good night's sleep while you can, and then we'll see you back here bright and early with the Railers uh, taking on the Seton Academy at uh, 10 o'clock. Okay. Railers with the victory tonight, 60-51. We'll be back to wrap it up in a moment. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. <laughs> 